day that I saw in, we've just moved in a few things. Let me take you down the hall and show you some more. Here's this room we just emptied out. Closet that separates the two rooms. This is coming out today and the carpet. I have a few things in this closet we've got to empty out real quick. Anyway, construction starts today. All right, let the demo begin. Just pulling staples. Just pulling staples. Carpet's gone, tack stripping's gone. Pulled off all the plates. Doors are out. Okay, this is the closet door in my sewing room and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at what's going on. I step around on the ironing board here. <laughs> so, uh, Walls are coming down. I'm standing in the closet. You can see the transition from closet floor to the other room. So we've begun the process and I'm going to now turn around and now I'm showing you the sewing room again. It's a bit of a mess because we're really working on uh, trying to get working on this in phases. So I'm going to try and get as much sewing as I can done before this wall comes down and I can't sew for a bit. Whew, I'm a bit out of breath because I have been moving stuff out. There's the mess in the hallway. So I just have this little bit left. This is what's happening over here. the morning pulling up these baseboards and tack strip because wood floors coming in the entire hallway and the sewing space. I'm in the spare bedroom just stripped the sheets and put the trundle away and it's just got things stacked in it and around the corner here are my sewing machines hanging out, waiting to be sewn with again. Here's my cabinet. And then in the other room across the hall, I've got this closet full. It's my dress form. It's quite a mess. And then across the hall, I'm a person who doesn't like to live in messes. So um, I keep the door shut. <laughs> if I have to, I can sew. However, in the spare bedroom, just take a little tidying. Um, but hopefully I've got enough videos that I will be able to um, maybe only make one project in here before the sewing room's done. Right, doors are out, part of the wall is out. This wall is yet to come. We still have electrics to work on a little bit. Um, and we're working on headers to replace so we can put in a little archway. Yeah. 
I'm going to turn around and let you see the depth of the room and all the mess. I have no lights on, so it's a little dark. When I... All right, you can kind of see how deep this room is going to be. We still have some posts here. Um, we're going to put in two big archways right there, so there will be a pillar in the middle out of an abundance of caution. We feel like that's probably the smartest and safest thing um, after looking at all of the trusses in the attic, there is not really anything holding them up. And um, we've decided to add a little extra bracing starting in the garage below. We added bracing and we're building it up. So it'll be super secure over here. We live in Oklahoma. We have tornadoes. Hey, I walked to the other side of the room real quick so you can see this is the other end. Nice and deep. I'm very excited. And it goes this way too. We're gonna have just a tiny bit of wall right there for it. it. Takes a 90 degree angle. Anyway, a couple more weeks of of this. We've got um, the flooring is going to be laid down professionally. Good job for that and uh, less stress for us. And then we may have some of the drywall work done professionally. My husband's still deciding he can do it, he just doesn't really enjoy it. That's the board my husband drew the concept on. It's now part of the ceiling and look at how open that is. It's about ready for the drywall. Oh, I'm so excited. And there's that little wall, little L shape. Look at that. Oh, so excited. Standing at the other end, not quite against the wall because there's stuff, but look at how nice that is. Oh, I can just picture it all now. <laughs> Thank you.